In this episode of a mobile home makeover, I go into a lot of detail about taking down a cabinet and leveling another cabinet, uh, get back into the swing of things of working, and sleep in a hammock. I feel a little bit like I'm getting attacked by velociraptors. pieces of the puzzle. I think that this is the kitchen sink and this is the cooktop, which apparently arrived a little beat up. And uh, I think the reviews online say that I need to take it apart and put the magnet in the right place. Well, I'm back. Uh, and the lawn is very, very brown. And there's this pile of debris that we left here. Looks like the blower might come in handy. There's a little bit of a mess here. And what's happening inside? And inside, well, let's we'll start off with the sun is red from smoke. And inside, it smells like paint. And it's pretty warm. And, oh, this must be the timer, light, light on the timer, that's cool. It's like a, a, a moment frozen in time. Gotta remember where we were and get back into the swing of things. Here's the new extra crispy white floor. Yeah. So one thing I want to do today is correct some of the things that I noticed from the video, like watching the videos. Why is this floor squeaking? And can I get rid of it? There's that spot and this spot, both kind of creaky. I wonder if there's a way to fix them thing I need to fix is this cabinet right here that moves around a little bit. I just want to stop it from moving around a little bit. And then unfortunately these shells, while they look all right, they've been pushed down by the ceiling and that are at a total angle. And uh, I don't quite know what to do about that. Pushing them back up is not really an option because uh, they don't move. Thinking carrying them out is going to be the way to go. Here's the new screen as replaced by Kim. It looks great. Okay, I've kind of accepted the fact that I'm just going to be a little spastic for a while here as I reacquaint myself. And I decided to uh, just take a look to see how many planks wide this hallway is. Words that I need to hold in place. So look at that, it worked. It's also going to look pretty sweet, I think. So I have to admit, I am very late doing this. It should have been done during demolition, near the beginning. But it wasn't until I got some perspective on the situation that I realized this angle just isn't going to work. So we're going to have to do a whole bunch of touch-up painting, and that's just how it's going to be.
been finding so this is obviously the ceiling up here has pushed down on this cabinet causing it to be at this angle what i'm finding is i can actually move it a little bit and it might only be attached back here by these screws which is a little crazy and down here by these screws and i'm wondering can I just drop the back of it down a couple inches and have it be level again? Just something holding it up in the middle up here. What is this hanging from right here? Seems like it's like right around in the middle somewhere watched the video back and I think I saw one screw up here in the middle. I don't have any idea what they screwed into. But it seems yeah, somebody had the brilliant thing. I got something to support this in case it comes down. I know why the roof is drooping. It's because this thing is hanging off of it. daytime sighting of the cat. Nothing is ever as easy as it looks.
Alright, so this should have happened a while ago, but it's happened now. It's out. Now, I've got a bunch of little trim pieces that are missing. I'm going to replace those. It's raining ever so slightly. cut out or measured up. I got my trim pieces cut. Now I got to check to make sure they fit. I'll just tape them in place real quick. Since I'm going to have to get out the nail gun to buff, put up these pieces of trim, I figure I should take a look at this situation at the same time. Here we've got the moving cap. And I think the way to, do, to deal with this is going to be to uh, see if there's a stud back here and try to nail this piece in. I'll just push this up and support it while doing that. Now, of course, the people that build this home aren't idiots. They probably didn't nail anything in there because there probably isn't a stud there. There's probably just a stud here at the corner. And I guess against the wall? I don't know. Let's find out in a second. Because we've got the stud finder. Oh, and technology fails. There's always the old tapping test. Which tells me there's a stud right there. And right there. Huh. I was holding the damn thing wrong. So, there is indeed. These are all now red nailed on. So to secure the cabinet, I'm going to use these two inch 16 gauge. So what I'm going to do is use this board here to prop this cabinet up. Well, I put a level here to make it level. You can see that's level again. Hope that there's a stud back here. Sure sounds like it. If there's a stud in there, this is going to hold when I knock this board out. Looks like it did. Throw it up more, you know, an eighth of an inch, but or a quarter of an inch, but that's maybe enough to be level. I sit here wand watering these decorative plants and thinking about the drought in the west and my water use. Right now I've got it primed up and I need to caulk this big old gap right here. <laughs> Also sanded down a couple spots on the wall that were bothering me. And I need to paint again. And we got this guy looking 
better level. And Santa done a couple spots back here that were bothering me. The sun is reappearing for the end of the day. Not sure if we're lost behind clouds or smoke. I think Deb used to really like this fence, but I think that they changed the fence. No longer open. <laughs> the automatic timer works. All set up to watch my program for the evening. Gonna watch the new season of Outer Banks. <laughs> I'm gonna camp out uh, tonight in the hammock. Uh, I could sit up in here, but... I just thought it would be maybe a little more fun to do the hammock. There we go. The hammock. It was actually fine, pretty comfortable. Uh, stay tuned. I think our guest host is going to be reappearing at some point soon. Uh, and undoubtedly I'm going to get up to some kind of repairs today. I'm not quite sure what yet. Maybe some painting. Remember to uh, like. It's this one over here, and subscribe. It's that one over there, I think. Thanks, and uh, have a good day.